interested in what TikTok has to offer for recruiting? I think you should. If you hire talents between the ages of 16 to 34, TikTok has massive opportunities for you as a recruitment marketing platform. Based on what I've seen and discovered, I believe TikTok ha- has a, well, a lot of potential for all talent marketing, but recruiting probably even more than employee branding. Hi, my name is Susanna Rantanen, and I teach branding, marketing, and communications for the HR industry. For people like you who are motivated to create a successful career, either in employer branding or in talent acquisition. This and next week in the Building a Modern Employer Brand podcast, I talk about TikTok for recruitment marketing and employer branding. If you are a recruiter or employer brand marketer and curious about how to use TikTok in your work, these two episodes will have some diamond content for you. So this episode is about using TikTok for recruitment campaigns and recruitment marketing. And then next week, I'll focus on the employer branding part on TikTok. I just realized as I was, you know, scripting uh, and planning for for this uh, episode that there's just so much to share and one episode is not going to cut it. And because I suspect you being a TikTok newbie, I also have to choose what you need to start with, not to overwhelm you totally. Because I did overwhelm myself when I first started to discover TikTok, and it wasn't that long ago, because it has a totally different vibe to other social media platforms. And um, I just think that it takes a while to really grasp what this different vibe is. And Especially if you happen to be 47 like I am right now, it takes a minute to grasp grasp these these new uh, vibes and new social media platforms. But I think that if you're in your 20s, you'll crack it immediately. So not going to be worried about you. If I get it, you'll get it too. Trust me. And that's, by the way, why us um, uh, seniors, (laughs) more experienced uh, people, need to either copy and learn from you guys in your 20s and 30s, or leave it to you to ace it on this platform. Because most definitely, you can't be a boring senior on this platform. So I've created content and tips from several sources and profiles and packed it all for you on these coming episodes. Uh, So this would be the perfect time for you to visit my podcast page for this episode at modernemployerbrand.com slash podcast122 to get your hands on those links that I mentioned on this episode. I'll remind you, so if you don't want to write it down right now, I'll remind you what this uh, what the URL is, but it's just easier for you to get your hands on these links if you do visit my podcast show notes article. And by the way, if you have not signed yet for my weekly Modern Employer Brand emails, Do it now, because every week I provide additional talent marketing tips that I share exclusively only for my email subscribers. And you'll find that link on the same show notes article page as well at modernemployerbrand.com slash podcast 122. But let's get into TikTok for recruitment marketing and just a little bit of employer branding information here as well. Based on what I've seen and discovered uh, through this, um, well, through the, the while that I've I've been uh, sort of uh, getting myself uh, acquainted with TikTok and uh, learning how to use it, uh, discovering uh, profiles that interest me, content that interests me, I believe TikTok has you know much potential for all talent marketing it's not just about dancing videos like i kind of assumed for a long time and maybe it was that for a long time but that didn't really excite me to the platform until i started to understand that um or it wasn't about understanding it was more about uh finding uh, uh some you know people in the coaching industry that had tiktok profiles and i realized that they're not dancing not all of them are dancing they're actually using tiktok in a more like a different way. So I'm going to have a look at it. And uh, it's certainly a fun platform, I have to say. 
the whole platform is so much about, you know, entertaining other people or the other users. And I found some really good like makeup tips and stuff on TikTok, which I'm sure a lot of other TikTok users have as well. And uh, there's especially this one woman that I'm following. I, don't, I can't remember her name right now, but she's just so much fun. She's a makeup artist. I think she's 47 too. So, uh, you know, it's, she's very relatable to me and I just love her vibe. So it's not, and, and for sure she's not dancing. So it's it's a lot more, you know, it's a lot of other other kind of content as well. But I think keeping to our topic of uh, TikTok for recommend marketing and employer branding, I think that even though TikTok has potential for employer branding too, not saying that it doesn't, I think it probably has more potential for recruitment marketing, especially if you are the recruiter uh, and the one who is creating and posting the content. Then if we think about employer branding, which I'm going to go more into next week in episode 123, 123. I think that from the employer branding side, TikTok is going to work really well as a platform for employee ambassador, employee advocacy type of employer branding content. And uh, especially, obviously, if your target audience matches the current majority of TikTok users, which is people between 16 to 34 years old. But as said, we'll focus on employer branding on TikTok in next week's episode. Also, if you are not that familiar with TikTok sort of audience demographics and, and, you know, kind of facts and figures, go back to last week's episode 121 to check that too, because I did speak about who uses TikTok on that episode. But now it's time to go for this uh, week's uh, topic, TikTok for recommend marketing. All right, let's crack this thing with recruitment marketing tips and ideas and inspiration for TikTok. I believe this platform has so much potential for you as a recruitment campaigning platform. And uh, I'm not talking about advertising even here. I'm talking about organic recruitment campaign content, recruitment marketing content. So forget about advertising. I'm not talking about advertising at all on this episode. To be honest, at this point, I have even I don't even have an idea how to advertise on TikTok. I'm not that far myself either. So this is literally about uh, how to use it organically. So what makes TikTok an excellent tool, uh, a platform for recruiting, is that it is packed with super tech savvy, you know, social media savvy, creative potential employees, especially for roles in which understanding and using social media is a huge asset. Roles such as talent acquisition, employer branding, sales, marketing, customer service, communication, all of these, just, you know, to think on top of my head, it benefit immensely from creative talents knowing how to use social media in their work. And if you are hiring Gen Z for any roles, TIC is probably your ideal recruitment platform at this point. So what makes TikTok special for talent marketing is that it runs on originality just like your talent marketing should, obviously, too. And at the core of all of the modern employee branding and, and recruitment marketing that I teach, it is to make your marketing drive on your company's authentic choices and stories. Now, if you are a corporate marketer heavy on policies and rules, stay out of TikTok. There is a strong chance you'll stand out as an account who didn't get the memo on the TikTok culture, and comes across boring and inauthentic. And it's really important to let loose on TikTok. And that's literally something that I'm still personally also learning because I ain't going to dance on TikTok. But this does not mean that you have to go crazy, as I've discovered. You don't have to create content that has, you know, nothing to do with what you actually represent. You don't have to become like a, a really funny person if you're not. In fact, uh, that kind of dry humor is as funny as like, I don't know, what's the opposite of dry humor? <laughs> Wet humor, that sounds awful. Now, you still talk about your jobs, your opportunities, your culture, your values. You just let your company's authentic vibe come through strongly and leave that polished corporate videos and corporate talk elsewhere. In fact, if you ask me, you don't even need that. Always leave the corporate vibe 
boring, corporate, strict, tight-ass vibe, excuse my language, uh, away from modern employer branding and recruitment marketing. You do not need it anywhere, especially not on TikTok. Now, here are some great ideas that I discovered how to use TikTok for recruitment marketing. Ready. And by the way, these are all on the show notes article for you. So just enjoy my sweet talk and then go back to the uh, article, the show notes article at modernemployerbrand.com slash podcast 122. And it's all there. You don't have to write any notes unless you want to, unless you really want to. So here's some great ideas. Number one. Promote your vacancies on TikTok, especially those targeted to graduates, interns, and students looking for summer jobs or part-time opportunities. Because the majority of TikTok users are currently in their 20s, making this platform excellent for running uh, recruitment campaigns for the younger talent audiences. And by the way, my uh, audience in Finland, yes, Finnish audience also. So this applies to Finland as well, because sometimes you doubt. I know you do. Uh, However. Most users are up to 34 years of old so or young, so you should not ignore those target audiences either who are looking for their first promotion or a step forward on their career journey. So it's not just for, you know, graduates or students or, you know, summer employees. Literally, users up to 34. So when I say Remote, I mean you preferably let your current employees in the same age groups and roles creating the content so that it vibes with this audience. Do not advertise anything that looks and sounds boring and corporate. Put a strike on that. Now, I have a tip for you. Now, TikTok's own account on TikTok, which is at handle uh, at life at TikTok surprise, you really honestly need to start following that and get some inspiration from them. How they speak to their younger target audiences about their career opportunities at TikTok. They are probably your best resource for TikTok career content inspiration because they're sharing a, a day in the life of so many of their employees and several tips for landing a job at TikTok, as well as showcasing, you know, the work, their offices and so on. So these types of content are recruitment marketing content as they promote the specific job and call the relevant uh, audiences to take action, apply for those roles. So that's not employee branding. This is is recruitment marketing. So uh, find it at uh, tiktok.com slash at life at TikTok. Really, really good. Now, tip number two, recruitment marketing content on TikTok should not be one video describing your expectations for those applying for the role. Think more like several videos where your employees working in the role that you're uh, hiring for are showcasing what the actual job is about on the video. They're sharing tips on how to land this job, explaining what they can learn uh, or what they have learned from this job and what they expect to learn from this job, what benefits uh, they've received or, uh, you know, after they've taken this job and, and, and so on. So let them share. And remember that each video on TikTok is short and should contain just one key message. So, you know, when you let your employees working in the same role showcase about, you know, share their experiences about the job and uh, what it feels like working in this role and so on, what they've learned and so on. Uh, you know, um, if you do, if you think just one key message per video, that's just like that, you're able to sort of crack this uh, dilemma of how to make more videos, what, what the videos are going to be about. So number three, check out if your key competition for the same talent is on TikTok and learn how they utilize this platform. So when you are just starting on TikTok, it can be difficult to come up with content ideas. I mean, I get that because that's what, what I'm learning and, and, and discovering and analyzing myself. You know, what's how am I going to be on TikTok? Uh, and, and I find that it's especially because TikTok, as said, has a very different vibe. It's so different from LinkedIn, Facebook and even Instagram. Even if you can share the same, you know, video on Instagram as a Reels and on TikTok as a TikTok video, uh, the vibe is just so very different. And uh, I don't think it works really well if you uh, post exactly the same content 
on TikTok and, and then on other platforms, or if you copy your content, video content from other platforms to TikTok, unless you're honestly really funny all, you know, everywhere. So what I suggest is that start learning what kind of content similar companies are creating on TikTok. And you can also see how well their videos perform when you go to their profile, uh, which makes it very easy to jump right on those videos that seem to have taken off. And you can actually, when you are when you go to their profile and view the videos, you can actually bl- publicly see how many times each video has been viewed. So it's easy for you to just, for example, take a look at the videos that have, you know, very high uh, number of viewers, and they compare to videos that have very low number of viewers uh, to kind of analyze. What did they do different in those videos that really took off? So it's, you know, don't copy videos that have really low number of viewers as opposed to their highest number of viewers. So take a look, analyze what is the style? How is it different from what you see uh, on TikTok in general? Uh, What seems to be the key message in the video? How did they edit the video? What is the call action? What hashtags did they use? Who performed on this video? Tip number four, don't make your recruitment campaign content the most obvious. Do for, for example, and now this is going to be Chipotle. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce the Chipotle restaurant. Now, there's actually a TikTok video of people trying to pronounce this restaurant's name. Chipotle, <laughs> I don't know how to. Please, somebody help me. Tell me how you pronounce this. So anyway, this restaurant in in U.S., they did a really uh, great uh, recruitment campaign where they highlighted some of the non, very non-traditional benefits of landing a job with them. And these perks, four perks on the video, they were meant to be silly and entertaining and catchy. And that is why the video has been liked more than 70,000 times already. And the perks that they uh, mentioned on this video were like wearing a silly hat, getting a free chipotle. <laughs> Oh my God, now I'm I'm really scared of uh, pronouncing that myself now. So getting a free a beauty shot from them, free education, learning how to go. Can, uh, so this is a really good example of what works on TikTok and your version of it will be true to your culture. So if it's boring, if your culture is boring, your video will be boring. If your culture is really fun, which I suspect most of you do have a really fun culture, you just don't know how to showcase it outside because you barely have the corporate who is going to ban you every time you drive. I'm sorry, I just have a I just have a beef with corporate brand marketing at the moment and I can, you know, I, I can't hide it. I can't hide it. So, if your culture, when your culture actually is really fun and open, your video needs to be a testament to it. That's how it works. So, again, I'm going to put the link for this really fun video from this restaurant that I'm not going to try to pronounce anymore. The direct vi- a link to this video on TikTok is on the show notes article, modernempoyerbrand.com slash podcast122. Okie dokie, number five, discover what kind of content really works in recruiting by browsing through hashtags, uh, hashtag open to work, hashtag work life, hashtag job tips on TikTok. Look for the videos that have been watched much more than the rest. Because each video, as said, shows the number of views so you can easily detect which ones are the most popular and you want to copy those. And by the way, on TikTok, copying the trends is like the, the vibe of the whole platform. So this is an excellent way to find inspiration examples of what kind of content to create to reach your target audiences on TikTok. And remember, they use the same hashtags for your own recruitment content, hashtag open to work, hashtag work life, hashtag job tips to help people discover it. Tip number six, if you are a small business and want to take advantage of TikTok for hiring, a sustainable outdoor apparels company, Aldi Apparel, has a really good video uh, for you as an example that they used in their own recruitment. In this video, they share five reasons why you should join their team. And in the video, uh, the, the five reasons are, uh, you know, are, are explained while showcasing their people, key benefits, their office, how to apply for this job, and so on. And you can find this video on their account at handle uh, at Aldi Apparel. So it's A-L-D-E-A-P-P-A-R-E-L. 
or find the direct link in the show notes article. I'm going to put that there too. I mean, I quite like their other content too for branding and marketing their small business for their TikTok audiences on TikTok. So if you're a small business owner, you know, I find it very inspirational. So you might want to have, you know, just take a look at the other videos as well. And also, by the way, you can find other small business accounts on TikTok with the hashtag small business for inspiration. Tip number seven, benefit from the TikTok algorithm, which ensures your content is tailored to your ideal target audience's location and interests. So did you know that the content you see on TikTok is primarily tailored to you based not only your interests, but also your location? And this is really great uh, for, for your audience who is already in your location and looking for uh, you know, jobs locally. They don't have to search for it. The algorithm shows it to them if your content just matches their interest. And that's why it's super important to create only the co- kind of content that looks like, um, you know, the native TikTok ton- content. As, as said, it's not boring, it's fun. So how you help your recruitment content to be found locally. So as an example, if you are looking for a UX designer in London, add hashtags, hashtag London, hashtag UX design, and hashtag open to word to your video. So that's a very easy way to help your recruitment content to be found locally. Number eight, this is the last tip from, the, uh, tip from this episode. According to a blog post on recruiter.com, as, and a link to this blog post will be provided in the show notes blog, companies such as Target, Shopify, and this restaurant whose name I can't pronounce, Chipotle, have been using TikTok as an active recruitment platform for ages. So you may want to start following their accounts on TikTok for inspiration. So that's TikTok.com at Target, TikTok.com at Shipotle, and TikTok.com at Shopify. And all those links are provided for you on my show notes article. All right, that's all for this week about TikTok for recruitment. As you can hear, I'm pretty excited about this. You know, it's just that it took me a, vi- it took me a while to get the vibe. And uh, TikTok is very addictive. And I think that this is starting to get to me. So that's why I'm quite excited about this new opportunity, how to use TikTok for recruitment marketing and employer branding. So if you are not yet subscribing to my weekly email, you just missed out on my exclusive tips for this episode about recruiting on TikTok. What a bummer. So make sure you won't continue to miss out on my tips and sign up today on my blog at Modern. modernemployerbrand.com. Just the first page is there. You'll find uh, the link also on the show notes article, modernemployerbrand.com slash podcast122, like you will all the links that I mentioned on this episode. All right, that's all for this week, my friends. Come back next week for more talent marketing choose to keep you going. And as said, next week, I'll talk about TikTok for employer branding. My name is Susanna Randanen and I teach branding, marketing and communications for the HR industry for people like you who want to build a successful career in employer branding or talent acquisition. Moi moi.